Hi, my name is Vivia and I'm with CARE International and I'm here at CBA 12 to present some work that we've done with EFAD on how to design gender transformative climate smart adaptation programs. And when we speak about gender transformation, we mean three levers of change. Building individual agency, so building the skills that women need to understand how to implement climate, climate adaptive practices in their small farms. Um, second is to understand the social norms that govern individual household decision making so that any changes we make in women's agency isn't then resulting in gender-based violence within the household. And the third thing is to implement structural change, so getting women access to the to the decision-making fora that will help them then access the financing that will help them make their programs sustainable. So I want to show you um, what we mean by this. So when we talk about building climate resilience, we talk about helping women get access to the resources and the information they need. So access to inputs, access to land and water and extension services. If we don't think about these things right from the start of a program, chances are we're not going to be considering the differential vulnerability of women and girls um, in our climate change programs. Um, the other thing is to understand gender and social norms within the household and within the community. Um, CARE works in 95 countries and every single country and every single com community has a different set of social norms in place. So with all of our programs, we start by understanding what the differential needs of women and girls are and how they um, experience climate change differently than men and boys. If we don't consider that right from the beginning, uh, chances are we're not going to be considering their needs at all. And then third, we try to get women access to decision-making for us. So for example, in Ethiopia, we've developed learning and practice alliances where we bring women and men together in fora to access uh, decision makers so that women in their own words can explain what their needs are, how they're affect affected by climate change in a different way, and what access to resources they need to be able to adapt to climate. Um, and we've detailed all of this in this guidance document, which is um, published by EFAD and done in collaboration with CARE. And you can access this on EFAD's website and on CARE's website.